Hey YouTube, thank you for tuning in to Kiki Life of Tea and Happy Taste of Friday. It's Friday. Yeah. So I know y'all like, who is this? This yeah. is our guest for Taste of Friday. This is my BFF and I'm going to let her hey introduce herself. Go ahead. My name is Sharice, but I also have a YouTube channel called Sunshine Sha. I do a lot of natural hair tutorials and product reviews as well as deodorant reviews and all that good stuff so please check out my channel when you have some free time but i am here to try some of this new wine yes because you ain't gonna find this on my channel so <laughs> i'm silly. excited don't forget to subscribe to her channel i'll put her channel in the description below so you can go ahead and check her out but today we're going to be talking about a black female owned winery yes and it I is know. the mcbride sisters wine collection yes. and this is the black girl magic collection so of course i had to check that out and i'm like i love wine so i'm like okay let me start researching and finding some wine companies that's black owned and then i found black female owned so i'm like yes let's get this so I have the rosé here, I have the Riesling, and the Red Blend. So we're going to be trying all three, and the reason I brought her on so I can get a second perspective. Because right, I'm probably not going to like any of these. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. You know, two different perspectives for you all to go off of. Because okay? <laughs> And trust me, me, she will give you all her <laughs> honest opinion. <laughs> so, let's start off with the rosé. So, the rosé was $19.99. The Riesling was $19.99. And the Red Blend was $24.99. So, let's get started. So, let's try the rosé first. The prettiest one. Yeah. Look at my it. I don't have no. You know what? <laughs> taste <laughs> so it's a little bitter just a little bit going down it's not too bad you don't have a, like a real taste to it but this here the rosé it is 13.5 percent of alcohol and this is from 2018 so it's a little aged just a little <laughs> bit just a little bit okay i think i'm ready to give my opinion. Oh Lord, let me no. drink again. <laughs> I don't really like rosé by itself. Um, I really like sweet wine. So surprisingly, since it has absolutely not a hint of anything remotely sweet, it's not that hard to digest. Now that might not sound the nicest. <laughs> Cause you want it to be more than just digesting <laughs> the wine, but I say that to say that it's easy because it's, it's kind of like watery. Yeah, a little bit. Like it it's is. Not, it's not it is. strong. It is. Uh, like it's bitter going down the after a while. It's not cold. Yeah, it's a little know. watery. But it says it has vibrant flavors of strawberries, raspberries, and Meyer lemon. You know what I'm gonna do? What I would do with this one? Take a little sangria, <laughs> mix this baby together, and then we got a whole party. She definitely mix it some white. It's pretty, so yeah, you mix that with some white sangria, and we got a party. So that's gonna be my favorite out of all of them. I'll get you. <laughs> so I want to give you all a little bit more information on the company. So the McBride sisters. They actually didn't even know they were sisters for like half of their life. One sister mm -hmm. lived in New Zealand. The other lived in the U.S. in California. And like I said, they didn't know who they, they didn't know they was related for half of their life. Then they came together in 1999. And then they created this wine brand because this was one thing that they both had in common. That's their love so for wine. So that was Aww. pretty sweet. And they created this collection in 2010. So... They create wine from the sister U.S. taste for wine and the right. sister New Zealand taste. So it's a, it's a different right. mix. 
So this is one collection. Then they have other brands, other kind, the red, the whites, and they also have can wine. Also, all of this is okay. Black girl magic and mm -hmm. messy. Oh, yes, yeah, so And then what's too cute? I'll put a picture here. Um, they actually have can wines, and it's called She Can. I girl. thought that was cute. Well, they thought they were doing. <laughs> Now she can't. Right, she can. She will. Yes. Oh, I'm excited. I know, okay. right? So let's try. Second one. The Riesling. Now I love I, Riesling. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like Riesling. So let's at all. see. This one is 12% of alcohol. And so let's see. It say it have notes of apricot, honey. And Jasmine. When they had that on the, like, what, girl, I can't get it out. <laughs> when they have what it has notes of, it don't be nowhere near close no. to it to me. I'm like, when we had that wine at Cooper's Hawk, because it's a, it's a comp, it's a winery here in Chicago <laughs> called Cooper's Hawk, and we love to go. Mm -hmm. And we had one wine, and the note was brick, and it tasted like brick. <laughs> Right. And be drying like oh no hey. right. <laughs> okay, so let's do it to give me a little bit of this. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. No way we got oh, we got a bad. Whoop. Yep. <laughs> to the weekend. I like this. Girl, shut up. This tastes like some sangria. <laughs> I have never, I have look, look, because you know I didn't you have some reason. You can definitely taste the apricot. Right, I'm so surprised that I thought it was going to be so nasty. it says Girl. sweet, so that's why you like it. Mm-hmm. And pineapple, I definitely can I taste the pineapple. It's citrus. Girl, so there, like, there you go. This might even be a little <laughs> new favorite. This just really just shocked me. Yeah. That it really does have a sweet undertone, like it's not overly powering because I know a lot of people don't like sweet wine mm -hmm. um so for people who don't like sweet wine but um yeah it's definitely not too, too know, sweet where you're like okay I'm gonna right, right, right. right I think it's like a good mix and in between so if like mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. don't want to drink a whole bottle by yourself but somebody that's your you know other half or whoever right they don't like it's sweet but you mix. like it's a really good and mix. it's not bitter of course because it's sweet and what else this is from 2018 as well, and 12% of alcohol. So, so far, yes. winner, winner, winner. This Chicken would be dinner. a great gift to give someone <laughs> for Christmas. Yes, it would. Or if you're bringing it over to a friend's giving. Yes, <laughs> like mine. Like, come on. Right, this really would be. <laughs> Right. Shower, all yes. of that. And Black Girl Magic, perfect thing, you know. Right. So, Especially like if you have Caucasian friends because yes. if they know they got a friend and she us black and she got this yes, magic, this, this, this would be the way to win them all. I'm gonna tell you, bring me some black girl magic and let me know how magical I am. Yes. <laughs> and one good thing, they do have a um, wine club if you wanted to join. And this was shipped from California, of course, so okay. I ordered online. Being thirsty, because I saw the black girl magic, I'm like, let me go ahead and order, right. but they actually have it where you can go on their website find our wine and put your zip code in and find where the wine is nearest you unfortunately i didn't do that because okay. i was too thirsty <laughs> and ordered online but you can't find it in chicago or wherever you live so they do have it in like um, Chicago. Okay, so you definitely can find. Is it in liquor stores or is yeah. it like written in, 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 in store? And I think it might be one at a Mariano's okay. too. But okay. it was in a lot of locations, so I'm definitely gonna be trying to find it near me instead of ordering online because the shipping. Isn't it something? What is that? That's like I feel like I've seen this logo before, but it didn't Probably say Black have. Girl Magic. I don't know if it said like white. It didn't say White Girl Magic. It said something. <laughs> White girl wasted. I don't know what it says. It says something about a white. Now nah, I know I'm not oh making Lord. it up. It says something about a white girl. White girl rose. I don't know. I might be oh. making it up. Is it something called white girl rose? I think so. I don't know. You have to look that up. You just get at this part out. <laughs> <laughs> it's wrong. I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna look into that. But I definitely recommend you try to find it near you. Look on their website because the shipping can be kind of expensive. Um, the price it is. 
if you um, spend $49 or more, the shipping is $20. If you spend over $99, the shipping is $10. So for okay. these three bottles, okay. it came out to $64.97. It was two-day shipping. You could have bought you two more. I know, you know, I know, I know. That's why I'm like, why you not going to some wine? Yeah, yes. about two more bottles, and you would have hit that over there. I movie. know, and it was two-day shipping. The shipping was real quick. I literally ordered on one day. It probably was shipped within two to three days. That's really good. It was two-day shipping, but it was $20. The sure. pandemic and everything. Yes. That's really good. It was good because I was worried about that. I'm like, oh, it's going to take forever. It's coming all the way from California. I ain't going to get this for probably like two, three weeks. Right. So, I got it the next week. I was like, okay. All right, right McBrassels. I see y'all. And you're winning me. I mean, I already, because I told you I'm going to like neither one of them or none of them. So, you already won, won, won me over. I know, right? <laughs> and like I said, they do have a wine club. You can get two bottles or six bottles or 12 bottles. The six and 12, you get them during each season. So like okay. spring, summer, autumn, winter, whatever. So I'll put in description below more information about that in case anybody want to join their wine club. And I'll put in the description below their website as well. Now, let's taste. Let's okay, wait, before we taste this, so they have a low, they have locations like how we go to like liquor store. Marino. No, no, no. Like how we go to, uh, where we, what did you just, just say? Yeah, so they have like, right. <laughs> So they yeah. have like locations mm -hmm. where But they... it's in California though. Well, so like we need to make a trip to California. <laughs> we need to go to Napa. That's why I wanna go honey wine country. I'm right. sure they're there. That would be such a good girl. Yes, trip. it would. We definitely gotta go. That's definitely on the bucket list for real. Um, but the last one is the red blend, and this one is 13 13.5% of alcohol. Now, I'm just saying I, I'm not going to like any of them, but I'm actually not going to say it for this one. She may I'm, not like this one because she's not a red wine drinker, yeah, so mm. she may not. I'm, but let's see. I'm let's surprised. See. So. Let's read the um, notes right, first. Right, right. So we can kind of predict if we're going to like it or not. Right. So you might say, give me some more if it, <laughs> it, it sounds good. <laughs> it say flavors of cherry, dark berries, and mocha. So you might like it. I don't know. What's, what's mocha? Mocha's like... Kind of the coffee, I think. Yeah, chocolate. Okay, well, I don't know. We're going to find out. Okay. okay, last toast. Okay. All right. You can kind of smell. Oh, no, honey. This is drying. Ooh. Girl. <laughs> Soon as you put it on your tongue, Ooh. your mouth dry up like a cactus. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. This is this is what I'll be talking about when I just say I don't. Now like. this was some crackers when it came in handy. <laughs> but you know, I just don't like. Yeah. It's drying a lot. But when I, a lot of people would love this, like I know some people that do not like sweet wine. Yeah. And this is like this is right up their alley, like for real. Mine is not. I'm, I'm barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> but I will say it's very drying, but it's not that bitter. Like a lot of red wines be. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I've had worse. It's very drying. I will say that. I've had worse. But. Yeah, I don't like this. But um, this is 13.5. And so is the rosé. You know what kind of. This is the kind of wine that you drink after you drink everything else. But you still want to get a little more drunk. I know right. And then by the time you had the good stuff. <laughs> the bad don't even taste bad no more. <laughs> It all tastes good going down. This is what you do with this one. Yeah. But that might just be me. Maybe I'm the only one to do that. <laughs> now we have to rank them. <laughs> we already know recently is number one. So, what's next between these two? Girl. <laughs> we know which one I'm going to pick is the second one. Rose? Yes. Yeah. And I, and I barely like that one. But compared to the two, it is so drying. It is. It's very dry. It is. Um, I'm surprised it don't have like cranberry. Well, it say dark berries. I'm so. sure it'll go good with some type oh, of I do like say cranberry. pasta. You probably actually would, this would be good to like mix in some type of um, pasta. I, I do my um, shrimp scampi. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay, chef. All and right. I do it in like a, um, a sherry wine. And it's really okay, good. So I think this probably would be good. It ain't good going. It ain't good going down. And you in can glass, definitely but. tell it's a notes of cranberry. So you could definitely, yeah, you know, cranberry is very drying. So 
Yeah, see, it's but dry, is, but it's not too bitter. And so I you got to pick your poison, I guess. <laughs> I know I'm looking like, why? Y'all probably like, why you still drinking this? Because the rule is. We don't waste no wine, okay? We, we don't waste no alcohol, okay? Period. <laughs> so even if I don't like it, hmm. Okay. Hmm. You gonna watch me finish it. <laughs> so let me taste this rosé again. Because, honey, I need to see. Let's see, let's mm. see. This definitely is watered down. So, the vote is in. <laughs> Riesling is the winter of the mm -hmm. three. So, Riesling, then Rosé, then if you have to pick a third, mm -hmm. it's the red blend. So, but for the red drinkers, for yeah. the people that love red wine. Yeah. Now, if like you it. like red wine, but you don't like bitter red mm -hmm. wine, then you may like this because it's not really bitter. It's just drying. Mm -hmm. So, yep. I think it's, it'll probably be a good. And I don't know that much about wine. Like, you know, what to pair it with. When you say yeah. pair it with this, pair it yeah. with salmon, pair it with chicken. Right. Like, I just feel like. That'll go good. It'll be. Salmon. Yeah, because it like, it literally takes everything out of your tongue. It does. So, you will be Immediately. so appreciative to get something good back on your palate. <laughs> But I don't know if that's how that really works. So yeah. that's just my thought process. Right. <laughs> so the votes are in, guys. Riesling. But definitely give them a try. Look them up. See where they are located near you. Support black-owned businesses. And yes, support. Yes. And that is it, guys. And I hope you enjoy you. Hope you enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you guys next week. Say bye. Bye, y'all.